my children! What's that? It's not Halloween? <laughs> oh, but my children, it is! It is in the land of the Marvel Zombies, for our final look at the Twisted Heroes brings us to our favorite holiday in Marvel Zombies Halloween! Back in the original Marvel Zombies world, as we have pointed out, there have been plenty of human survivors. Today we concern ourselves with these two, a woman and her son Peter. They have been living in a house, growing their own food, and have managed to barricade themselves from the zombie hordes. Fortunately, they have not had any zombie superheroes to contend with, just your regular zombies who run into their minefield or are shot with bullets. Peter is intrigued when he discovers the word Halloween on a calendar, and his mother explains the holiday to him. A child who has never heard of Halloween? Blasphemy! The boy wishes to celebrate Halloween, thinking it would be fun to be someone else for a day. The mother refuses, since there's really no one around to celebrate it with, and even then, it is a distraction. And a distraction is how the boy's father got killed. But as Peter points out, if they can't have any fun for even one day, why are they even bothering to stay alive? She finds him a Wolverine costume, even pointing out that he was always is her hero, and plans to go out to town later to try to get him some candy. Probably expired by this point, but beggars can't be choosers. However, Peter runs out when a kitten they had located runs outside as well, and he chases the black cat. Peter even finds an untouched house, and asks the scruffy man inside if he's seen the cat. But the man just says that it's not even Halloween, that it's October 30th as it's called in Detroit, Devil's Night. A wonderful nine if ever I heard one, my children. But every day has its own holiday, even July 31st. Happy Kahai Hawaii Day, my children. Zombie heroes soon locate dear Peter, and they begin arguing over who gets to eat him, even mocking the poor child for his desire to find his lost kitty cat. Fortunately, his mother soon arrives with bullets to deal with them, but they are quickly cornered yet again. Until the clock strikes midnight when the scruffy man returns. He's pleased to meet you. Hope you guessed his name. Yes, it is Mephisto, who happily torches the zombies to save Peter and his mother, Kitty Pride. However, even this shadow cat knows not to trust the devil, who only wants to save them so that he may corrupt the last few souls still left on earth. And he tells little Peter that one day he shall come again, and he hopes that he will have sympathy for what he did for him and his mother on All Hallows Eve. Later that night, Kitty tells her son that there's no chance that he will ever go with Mephisto, talking about his father, Colossus, and how when Mephisto came to him with an offer, the metal mutant strode right past him. Colossus always believed that the plague would end one day, and humanity would make its way back. For this is Halloween, when the dead are with us in spirit at the very least, and this is a day for the hope of the dead to shine at its brightest. And thus the Marvel Zombie saga ends with the real present Kitty has for Peter, his lost kitten returned and resting in a jack-o'-lantern. This Midsummer's nightmare is ended, my children, for now. There are still Marvel zombie stories on the horizon, and perhaps we shall talk of them in the future. But for now, emerge from the darkness of sleep, and enjoy the light of the summer sun.